Now here in Australia, we are very lucky to be home to more venomous species than non-venomous. And today, you're actually all in for an extra special treat. In this tub, we have Carl. Now Carl is one of the most venomous snakes that we showcase here in our Crocosseum. Now when it does come to handling Carl, it takes years of training and skill, so do not try this yourself. We <laughs> just want to show you how amazing they really are. Samantha, what are you doing? Where is Carl? Um, I don't know, Davey. I put him in there myself. I don't know how he got out. There is a hole. Oh, what's your feet? He could be anywhere. Hey, guys, guys, check out this little cutie. I found out the back. Isn't he gorgeous? Taylor, what are you doing? Surely you know better than to be handling a wild snake. No, 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 no. Taylor. What? I don't want you to panic, but that's Carl, the most venomous snake we have here in the whole group of Carl? Yep. This is Carl. Mm. Oh, take him, Daisy. <laughs> Come on, Sam. Yeah. Oh, it's alright, Carl. Oh, he's wiggling. He's wiggling. He's wiggling. <laughs> Possibly a little dramatic, but everyone do keep calm. The first aid for an Australian snake bite is actually pretty simple and effective. Now, just by following these next few instructions, you yourself one day help save somebody's life. Now, first thing to remember if you are ever bitten by a snake is to keep calm. Do not move, and most importantly, do not panic. That venom is going to move around your body with your muscles. Alright, thank you, Sam. Okay, come on, Taylor. Um, okay. Uh, Sam? Sam? Okay, that is definitely not what I meant. Uh, obviously, here in Australia, too, we do love our snakes, but I do think it's time we maybe get a little bit more serious. Now, if you ask that over here, you can follow them up to on the big screen. Now, all you need is a compression bandage. If you don't have one handy, any piece of clothing or even a belt will do the trick. Now, what we're going to do is grab that bite size three to four times, ensuring we cover the entire limb. Now, don't wrap it too tight and cut off circulation. Say, just enough pressure with you on a sprained ankle or a wrist. Now, once your patient is all bandaged up, call an ambulance. Keep your patient calm and still until that ambulance arrives. So always let the help come to you. Uh, Taylor, mate, uh, Carl was a rubber snake. He's a drama queen. I think you'll be just fine. We better get you out of here so Jenna can take us to the wetlands.